Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about the particular solution, the third rule, right? So let's see what is rule number three. Rule number three says that whenever on the right hand side, we have a function in the powers of x to the power m, y to the power n, then how do we proceed? So we have to expand f of d d dash in the ascending powers of d or d dash depending upon the powers of m and n. So if m is greater than n, then we will try to write it as a function of d dash by d. And if m is less than n, then we will try to write it as a function of d by d dash. So here 1 by d denotes integration with respect to x and 1 by d dash denotes integration with respect to y. So the simple rule is that whenever the powers of m is greater than n, then we need to expand it as d dash over d. And in the other case, we can expand it as d by d dash. And if m is equal to n, then it's your choice. Either you can um, expand it as d dash by d or you can expand it as d by d dash, right? So let's try the first problem. So we need to solve d squared plus 6 d d dash plus 5 d dash squared into z is x into y raised to power 4. So the first step is to calculate the complementary function. So we are not going into details. We will frame the algebraic expression as m squared plus 6m plus 5 equal to 0. From there, m is equal to minus 1 and minus 5, right? So the complementary solution becomes f1y minus x plus f2y minus 5x. Now from here, let's try to calculate the particular solution. So the particular solution becomes 1 upon d square plus 6 d d dash plus 5 d dash square into x into y raised to power 4. So if I compare it with x to the power m y to the power n, m is less than n. So we will expand it as d by d dash. To expand it as d by d dash, we have to take out the term 5 d dash square common. So if you remember, we have to make binomial expression. So we will take out 5 d dash square and we will try to write the terms from the back side. So we will have 1 plus 6 d by d dash plus d square by 5 d dash square into x into y raised to power. So let's take this in the numerator. So we get 1 by 5 d dash square. When we take this term in the numerator, we will get 1 plus 6 d by d dash plus d dash, sorry, d square upon 5 d dash square raised to power minus 1 into x into y raised to power 4. So now we have to apply the binomial theorem and with till which term we have to expand it. So here we will try, since we have d and d dash in the numerator as well as in the denominator, so we will first solve the numerator and then we will try to solve the denominator. So if you check the numerator terms, in the numerator we have d. So now d depends upon x, right? So d is del by del x. So you have x key power 1. So that means we need to expand only the terms till 1 on up, right? So we get 1 by 5 d dash square. Let's open up the bracket. So we get 1 minus 6 d by d dash when I take a negative sign over here, this is a square term, so the derivative will become 0. And higher order terms will also, the derivatives will become equal to 0. So this is x into y raised to power 4. Now, let's open up the inner bracket first. So 1 into x into y to the power 4 is x into y to the power 4. 6 is constant. Now, what is d by d dash? Let's see. What is d by d dash of? x into y raised to power 4. So I told you that we will solve the numerator first. So what is the derivative of x into y raised to power 4? It is y raised to power 4. And we have 1 by d dash. 1 by d dash is integration with respect to y. So that will become y5 by 5. So the term here becomes 5y5 by 5. Right? Now, this is not the answer because you can still see that d dash square is left in the denominator. So, what we will do? We will write here 1 by 5. Now, what is 1 by d dash square? Let's open up the brackets again. Into x y raised to power 4. 
So 1 by d dash is integration. So 1 by d dash square will be double integration with respect to y. So in this case, x is constant. So y to the power 4 integration is y5 by 5. And then when again you integrate, we get y6 by 6. So the terms that we will get here is x into y to the power 6 by 30 minus 6 by 5 is constant. Now, now the term is 1 by d dash square into y to the power 5. So y to the power 5 integrated will get y6 by 6. And then when again you integrate it, you will get y7 by 7. So we have y7 by 6 into 7. So 6 gets cancelled. So you can take out 1, 5 out. So we will get 1 by 25. x y6 by 6 minus y7 by 7. Right? So 6 gets cancelled. I have taken 5 out. So we get y7 by 7. So this becomes my particular solution. So you can add up the general solution by adding up the complementary solution and the particular solution. Right. So now let's try the second question. So the second question says solve d square plus 3 d d dash plus 2 d dash square into z is equal to x square y square. So let's first quickly calculate the complementary solution. So the roots are minus 1 and minus 2. So when the roots are minus 1 and minus 2, the complementary solution becomes f1 y minus x plus f2 y minus 2x. Right. So now let's calculate the particular solution. So we have 1 upon d square plus 3 d d dash plus 2 d dash square into x square y square. So now since the powers of m and n are same, so you have a choice. So either you can expand it as a power of d by d dash or you can expand it as a power of d dash by d. So in the previous question, I have expanded it as a power of d by d dash. So I'll tell you how to expand it as a power of d dash upon d. So to expand it as d dash upon d, we will take out the highest power of d common. So we will get d square. And then I have 1 plus 3 d dash by d plus 2 d dash square by d square x square y square. So let's take this term in the numerator. So we get 1 plus 3 d d dash by d plus 2 d dash square by d square is to power minus 1 x square y square. So this is 1 by d square. So now we have y square in the numerator. It is d dash. So it is derivative with respect to y. And the power of y is a square term. So we need the term still second order. Right. So the first term is 1 minus 3 d dash by d minus 2 d dash square by d square. Then plus whole square. So when you square it up, we'll get 9 d dash square by d square. Now when I square it up, this term will become power 4, so I don't require it. And the mixed term will be d cube, so I don't require it, right? Multiplied with x square, y square. So now let's open up the bracket. So this is 1 by d square. 1 into x square, y square would be simply x square, y square, right? x square y square minus 3 is constant. What is d dash by d x square y square? Let's do the denominator numerator first. d dash is 2x square y and then we have 1 by d. So integrate it with respect to x. So we get 2x cube by 3 into y. So the term that we will get here is 2x cube y by 3 right now these are two like terms minus 2 plus 9 is 7 so we will get 7 times now again let's see what is d dash square by d square into x square y square this is 1 by d square so x square would be constant y square derivative is 2y and then we will get 2 and now we have to take the integration with respect to x twice. So we will get x cubed by 3 and then finally x4 by 4, right? So the term that we will get here is x to the power 4 by 6, right? So now 
let's see what is this resulting into so 3 gets cancelled so now we have to double integrate this with respect to x so x cube by 3 and then x cube x raised to power 4 y square minus 2 times y constant x cube integration is x4 by 4 into x5 by 5 plus 7 by 6 constant x4 integration x5 by 5 and then x6 by 6. So that finally results into x4 y square by 12 minus 2 gets cancelled. So we have x5 y by 10 plus nothing gets cancelled. So 6 into 5 is 30, 30 into 6 is 180. So we get x to the power 6, right? So this becomes the particular solution. So I hope you have understood the question. So that's all with this video. So thank you so much for listening. So those of you who have liked the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Thank you and have a nice day.